A typical day for me uh, is uh, that I'm in court from uh, about 9.40 uh, in the morning. Uh, I will work until 1 o'clock. I have uh, an hour's break. In that hour, uh, besides eating lunch, I will also spend uh, uh, time reading uh, other papers and dealing with emails, seeing uh, colleagues. Uh, I'm back in court at 2, finish by 4.30 to 5, uh, and then deal with paperwork until 6. Uh, I go home, I spend time with my family, but uh, almost every night I'm working until at least 10 o'clock, uh, sometimes beyond. I also work for at least five hours uh, on a Sunday, possibly, probably indeed uh, longer than that. So it is a, a very demanding job but intellectually satisfying. You are using every, or certainly in my case, I'm using every little ounce of intelligence that I might possess. Well I, I sit in three jurisdictions unusually so I suppose I have three different types of uh, typical days uh, and what I love is the, is the variety. So at the moment I'm sitting in the Employment Appeal Tribunal which is much more paper based so we have time to think and consider a number of paper applications for permission to appeal and that sort of thing. In the Crown Court, it's much more uh, court-based, and a typical day will involve perhaps a sentence or a plea and trial preparation hearing before the uh, start of a trial, um, or miscellaneous matters, proceeds of crime applications. And in the County Court, uh, where I sit at the Birmingham Civil Justice Centre and the Business and Property Court, uh, I could be doing a multi-track case or a committal or an injunction. Um, the common theme is that you usually know the day before what you'll be doing the next day, but you can have surprises. And the trick I find is to, to have got on top of the paperwork before the hearing starts. One of the big differences between being a judge and being a barrister is that I know which courtroom I'm going to be in every day. So I have a room at the Old Bailey with my own desk and my own computer equipment in it. And I know that when I'm sitting, that's the room I'll be in. I've got uh, three children and they're all at school. Knowing where I am and what hours the court sits, it means that I'm better able to plan family life. I don't mean uh, that the role of a judge is easy. We might sit from 10 to 4, but that's part of the work that we do. Uh, but if I have written judgments to prepare, or a summing up, or sentencing remarks, then I can decide uh, when I do those. And it may be in the evenings, or in the morning, or if I am busy with the children, it might be at the weekends. I'm pretty sure that there is no such thing as a, a typical day. I've been very fortunate in my career as a judge that I've done all sorts of uh, different work, all as a civil judge. I haven't any experience at all uh, in crime and I can say that in each area that I have worked uh, certainly I've never been able to say precisely what I'm doing uh, at a given time of the day. There's a good deal of urgent work that comes in, uh, there are queries to be answered, there are colleagues to speak to, there are staff issues uh, to deal with. At the moment I'm the designated civil judge for Greater Manchester which means that I have a number of administrative uh, obligations to fulfil uh, but they tend to fit around my court day. I became a judge because I enjoy sitting, so I don't let the administrative work uh, get in the way. The average working day for me doesn't um, start as early as it used to in private practice, and certainly it doesn't finish as late as it used to in private practice. I typically get, to, get into court at about 9 or 9.15. Um, I don't prepare cases, and indeed criminal judges rarely prepare cases like their advocates. We don't have to prepare cross-examination or examination in chief or closing speeches or strategies for a case. Um, and very often during the day it is um, simply listening to the evidence, writing a note of it, and of course dealing with uh, points of law um, which may arise from time to time. It's very much more, in terms of the job, a more intense day in the sense that often when one case is finished you're on to the next case. If you have 
a trial, um, even if it's a long one, you might be moving into your next trial very, uh, very often on exactly the same day. The preparation stuff really begins when we are dealing with sentencing remarks, especially for longer and more complex cases, and indeed summings up. And on summing ups, um, often you have to prepare when you've got some time, often that's in the morning, sometimes maybe after your court day. The day itself, as I've said, is more intense, I think, than private practice. But uh, one of the things is that when you get home, usually you can leave the day behind you and you don't have the the residue as you do perhaps in private practice of preparing or trying to get the next brief in and so on and so forth. As a circuit judge, the work is very varied. You get the opportunity to sit across lots of jurisdictions. So I sit in the Crown Court here in criminal cases. I sit mostly in the family court, but I've also got a court of protection ticket uh, and I sit in the high court. I've got a civil ticket too. So I see varied work day in, day out. No two days are the same. It's stimulating too because I might be sitting in a jurisdiction that I'm unfamiliar with. Some days are heavier than others and um, you'll get a busy list and sometimes a busy week. But you have to learn to manage your time. But I would say it is pretty predictable. You will know usually days in advance, um, certainly the day before, exactly what's in your list. You can prepare it in advance. Um, you don't have to travel in the same way as if you're in private practice or have that unpredictability, not knowing whether you're going to be wanted 60 miles away or uh, in your local court the next morning. So I think it's easier to, to manage your time um, and it's um, ebbs and flows, how the work uh, goes. And if there is a problem about it, you can go and talk to your listing officer or to your resident judge or designated civil judge who looks after uh, the workload. But um, my experience is that um, you get into a pattern uh, of how you work and you know what works best for you.